A piece of iron can be made a magnet by using the following four methods by magnetic induction method, by single touch method, by double touch method, by electrical method. When a piece of iron is kept near a magnet, then that iron piece also starts behaving like a magnet for temporary period of time means it will attract small pieces of iron. But when the magnet is removed, then you will notice that iron piece will lose its magnetism. Then that iron piece will not be a magnet anymore. So this process is called as magnetic induction. Now if we have to make an iron nail a magnet using the magnetic induction method then for that we have to take a long nail and fix it on a stand. Now spread some iron pins on the base of the stand. You will notice that initially these pins will not be attracted towards the nail because right now the nail is fixed on the stand and pins are lying there on the base these pins will not be attracted towards the nail now take a magnet in your hand and bring one of the pole of magnet towards the head of the nail you will notice that some of the pin will start getting attracted towards the nail and these pins begin to cling to the nail so that means the nail is now started behaving like a magnet. So suppose if you have brought the north pole of the magnet towards the head of the nail, then head of the nail will start behaving like a like south pole. Okay, so if north pole is brought near the head of the nail, then that head of the nail will start behaving as a south pole and the tip of the nail then will be the north pole. So this way the nail will start behaving like a magnet for a temporary period of time. Now remove the bar magnet from the head of the nail. You will see that all the iron pins will again fall down because now as soon as you remove that magnet then the iron nail will again started behaving like a normal iron nail means it loses its magnetic property so this way we can convert a, an iron nail into a magnet by using magnetic induction method now if an iron bar is placed near a magnet if this iron bar is a b and we place it near a magnet then this iron bar bar will also behave like a magnet but Keep in mind that if the north pole of bar magnet is placed near end A of the iron bar, then this end A will automatically acquire south pole. Means if it is kept near north pole, then this end will acquire south pole. And then the other end that is B will become north pole. So this way polarities are produced on an iron bar in the process of magnetic induction. The next method is single touch method. In this method we have to place an iron bar on our table. Now hold a magnet in your hand and put it vertically on the iron bar in such a way that north pole of the bar magnet should touch one end that is end A. If, the, if we name it as AB, the iron bar is AB, then place north pole of the magnet on end A vertically. Now slide this magnet and bring it towards end B. So we have to slide the magnet and bring it till it reaches end B lift the magnet and again keep it at end A and again bring it to end B. We have to repeat this process about 20 times. Then again turn the iron bar AB upside down means if we have done it in the front side now take, um, keep it at the back and we have to turn this bar uh, that is iron bar upside down and again 
repeat the same process with magnet about 20 times so on both the sides of the iron bar we have to repeat the same process that is we have to put the bar magnet on one end and slide it towards the another end and then again lift it and keep it on one end and again slide on the other end so total 40 times we have to repeat this process on both sides front and back you will notice that now this bar iron bar will start behaving like a magnet after completing this process you will notice that the iron bar AB will now behave like a magnet now talking about the polarities of this iron bar so the end which we touched last means if B end is touched last so this end will become south pole because we have kept north pole of the magnet on the iron bar so end b will become south pole because it was touched at last okay and the another end that is end a will become north pole so this way iron bar a b will become a magnet where a will be the north pole and b will be the south pole next method is double touch method in this method we use two magnets that is two bar magnets to make an iron bar ab a magnet so what we have to do we have to take two magnets and place them vertically at the center of the iron bar so if iron bar ab is placed on the table then at center of this iron bar we have to keep both the magnets vertically now these magnets should be kept vertically in such a way that both ends of the magnet should be the opposite pole means if one magnet north pole we have taken we have kept north pole of one magnet on the bar so on the other magnet south pole will be kept on the bar okay now what we have to do we have to move both the magnets towards both the ends one magnet will reach end b and another magnet will reach end a so we have to slide both the ends both the magnet to, towards both the ends of the bar we have to repeat this process about 20 times on the, the front face then turn this iron bar upside down and again repeat the same process about 20 times on the back side also then you will notice that bar ab will become a magnet it will start behaving like a magnet now you have noticed that north pole here in this figure as you can see the north pole of this magnet reaches b end we were sliding the magnet with north pole on bar towards end b so this end b will acquire south pole it will behave like a south pole it will acquire south pole here and in the other magnet south pole was brought towards end a so end a will become north pole it will acquire north pole so this ab bar will start behaving like a magnet where end a will be the north pole of this magnet and end b will be the south pole of the magnet next method is electrical method in electrical method we have to take an iron bar ab and wound many turns of insulated co copper wire over this bar we have to wrap copper wire around this bar several times now both the ends of the wire will be connected with a switch and a battery now when switch will be turned on then current will start flowing through this wire and you will notice that after some time the bar this iron bar ab will behaving will start behaving like a magnet as soon as current will stop flowing into this bar 
okay the wires if we switch off the current then current will stop flowing into the bar and again this bar will start behaving like a normal iron bar it will lose its magnetic property so we can make an iron bar a magnet by electrical method that will be a temporary magnet that means we uh, we can um, make it or convert it into a bar again an iron bar again by switching off the current now as you can see that at end a of the bar here the current is entering into the coil okay you can see this arrow the current is entering into the coil and it is in the clockwise direction so when current the end where current is entering in clockwise direction that end will become south pole and the another end will become north pole so if this way we got the south pole at end a and north pole at end b now if we want to reverse the polarities if we want end a to be north pole and end b to be south pole then what we have to do we have to reverse the flow of current in the coil this coil okay we have to interchange the flow of current into the coil we have to arrange the battery in such a way that current should enter in the coil through end b then this end b will start behaving as south pole this will acquire south pole this will become south pole and another end will become north pole 